I should have put you somewhere with no defiance. Man, she not in speech with nothing around you. Katie, Texas, Dallas, Texas, you know I'm giving it by me. Cause you had desires. I know, I know. Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan. And the company I'll be working with today is Recool Hair. They see me over this 30 inch wig. This is a full 13 by four lace front wig, HG lace, 180% density. And it is a straight lace front wig as well. This hair was super soft, fresh out the packaging, and it gave me no shedding. I was so surprised. I do like the fact that this wig features a full 13 by 4 lace, and it comes with four combs in the inside and an adjustable strap. And the hairline does come pre-plugged. Let's get into it. So y'all already know what time it is once I'm in this kitchen. We finna get into it. I got my BW2 powder, my 50 volume developer. I have a bucket, a brush and a coloring brush and we're about to color this hair today we're going to do like a chocolate chestnut brown color i've did this color on my channel before and i'm just going to show you guys how i do it again so i'm just going to take some bleaching powder put it in my bucket um a little bit or a lot however much you feel i'm taking some 50 viral developer because i'm impatient and i want this to die quickly I'm going to mix that together thoroughly, and then once that's mixed together, I'm going to add my hot water from the faucet, um, however much you want to add. And then once I mix the water in there and, you know, get that mixture going, then I'm going to dip the wig in there, making sure I brush it all the way through, making sure that mixture is getting every part of the hair so we have an even bleach. Um, we're bleaching this hair brown, so it's not going to take long. Like, literally, y'all, I was literally dipping this wig in the bucket, and it literally turned brown right in front of my face. Like, it didn't take but, like three minutes literally and it was done so i love this method for you know bleaching the hair period but especially browns because it takes no time Please remember every wig is different and every wig will process differently. You just want to watch it with your eye and once it gets to the desired color that you want, take the mixture off and go ahead and start rinsing it and shampooing it. Um, right now, I'm just squeezing all the excess product out, and then I'm going to start rinsing it out. And then, y'all already know I'm going to hit it with some done dish detergent to get all that bleach and all that mixture just out of the hair. I repeated that Dawn dish detergent process twice and then when I hit off camera, bleached the knots, um, conditioned it with my silicone mix bamboo, and then plucked the wig off camera. We're here with my friend Miss Yami. Yes, and we're about to get this install going. So right now I'm just positioning the wig on her head. And then we're gonna use the adjustable strap in the comb of the back to secure her wig. She doesn't like her wig sold down because she doesn't leave them on long at all. She switches up her look constantly. So, um, we're just going to use the comb and the adjustable strap in the back. No thread today. Look at that beautiful color, though. Like, yes.
So now we're gonna smooth back that adhesive as thin as possible. And we're gonna make sure each coat dries clear before we apply the next one. And of course, as always, we did, um, well actually no, we didn't do four layers today. We only did two. I know I threw my hands up uh, motioning that we did four layers, but we only did two because like I said, she doesn't keep her wig on long. So we only did two layers today. Once that last layer is clear, we're gonna go ahead and proceed to lay that lace down. You already know. Uh, get your client to hold the side where the sideburns are. You're gonna use the teeth of your comb and your blow dryer, and you're gonna start adhering that lace to the skin. So now we're gonna tie down her legs using our elastic band for about 10 minutes. And then after that, we're gonna to proceed to cut off that excess lace. So we went ahead and hot combed her wig flat and then separated out her hairs for her baby hairs. And now we're taking our hair flex hairspray to melt that lace. And then we're gonna tie it down with our elastic band. So we've already cut and curled her baby hairs and now we're gonna swoop them. Um, my friend Yami likes her baby hairs real big and dramatic, so you know, it's not for everyone. But she want a big, I'm gonna give you big. Whatever you like, I'm gonna give it to you. You know, it is what it is. Anything we had to do, I'd try to teach my mistake. Let 
plenty, plenty, plenty to survive with me, bitch. Just to make your money, bitch. But my people, they go say, I love one guy. I love one guy. I love one guy. I want to enjoy. I want to chop life. I want to buy me to. I want to build house. I still want to love. Let me tell me. And now we're tying her down with some wrap strips and we're gonna let her sit up under a hot dryer for about 15 to 20 minutes, mainly 15, you know, 15 to get the job done. She's back from the dryer and I'm gonna show you the baby hairs once they're dry, just straight from the mousse mold. But of course y'all already know I'm gonna comb them out and you know, cut them down and then spread them with my hairspray. And then you get this laid look right here. I've already brown sprayed her part with my temporary uh, brown hairspray um, color. And I'm just taking some powder foundation just to make her part a little bit more visible and more sharp. Um, I like to go lighter than her skin tone because naturally, um, when we part our scalp, it looks lighter than our actual skin tone. Now let's get into these beach waves. I'm using my T3 single pass 1.25 inch curling iron. Um, I did go ahead and press out her ends first before curling the hair, just because beach waves, um, you, you don't curl the ends. So I did want the ends to be smooth. I didn't just want them, you know, looking all raggedy or whatever. Um, so you basically just do a regular curl and you just don't curl the ends. And I like to untwirl it off the rod instead of just, you know, releasing the clamp, um, as you can see. And that's how I do my beach waves. I did slightly layer the hair off camera. Nothing like how I do my normal layers for when I'm doing body curls or anything like that. Just a simple old layer. After her beach waves are done, I'm gonna take some Sebastian Shaper Plus hairspray and spray it all over the hair. This is a flexible whole hairspray. Um, yeah, and after that, we're just gonna take our wide tooth comb. We're gonna comb those um, beach waves out. This is where you're gonna see the look come all the way together. I love a beach wave look. It's just so 
so effortless, so just, you know, it just gives. It gives, I don't know, it makes the hair look luxurious to me, like, you know. And today we're going to add some little fun to the hair. We're going to do an actual fishtail braid. Um, a lot of people do a, a one on each side, but I just wanted to do one on one side. And um, that's what I'm doing now. You just take a section of hair, split it into two, and you take a little piece from one side and cross it over to the other side. It's just like that. You're going to start with two pieces, take a little piece from one side, cross it over to the other side. Take a little piece from that side, cross it over to the other side, and you just keep doing that all the way till you want it to stop. And y'all, it's just so funny how styles are just coming back in style. Like, I remember I learned how to do a fishtail braid back in middle school. Like, I would play in the girls' hair while we in school, and I used to do fishtail braids because a lot of people didn't know how to do fishtail braids back then. And it's just like, wow, to see this become a trend again, it's just like, I feel so old, like even though I'm 22, it's just like, wow, everything is really, everything is just recycled. Like it's all a cycle. Like it goes out of, it um, it falls off as a trend and it's considered, you know, whack. And then, you know, it just takes that one person to do it and boom, everybody is doing it again. Um, But I like that. I like how things, you know, things from back in the day or back years ago is coming back, you know, in style, you know. You know, history repeats itself, and that's just a fact. We're gonna end this braid like kind of like above midway. Um, we're not gonna braid it all the way down because I still want you to see the, the beach wave on the end of the braid. We're just gonna end it off with a regular rubber band, two of them. And then we're gonna start, you know, pulling at the braid to make it a little bit more messy, not so neat. And then that's gonna be the finished look, you all. Let's get into this style, this color, this hair. Like, this color and style made this hair look like raw hair quality. Like, I love that. I really did that. You know, I gotta give myself a little pat on the back. Make sure you check the description box for more information and um, links on how to purchase this wig from Recool Hair. I thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.